this mission, Axiom 4 mission, was a, a mission to the International Space Station. Uh, so we were flying on top of the Falcon 9 vehicle in the Crew Dragon uh, and to the International Space Station for a period of two weeks and thereafter coming back. The launch was from Cape Canaveral, uh, Florida, and recovery was off the coast of San Diego in the Pacific Ocean. Crew Dragon is one of the three vehicles which can take humans to space as of now. And uh, we were fortunate to have the training on the other one, uh, the Soyuz, which goes from Russia, as well as Crew Dragon now. International Space Station, as you know, is, is an orbiting laboratory which has been there since 2000 and has been conducting cutting edge science and is actually a perfect example of a uh, uh, marvel of human engineering and human collaboration. Ka. My profile in this mission was as a mission pilot. So Crew Dragon, mein there, there are four seats and I was the mission pilot. I had to work with the commander and interact with the systems of the Crew Dragon. Basically anything that has to be done with the Crew Dragon was uh, our responsibility. Now, with this mission profile, uh, oh, uh, for the two weeks on the ISS, the work that we had, the job that we had was we had to perform the experiments that were conceived, developed, and realized by the Indian researchers, and also to perform STEM demonstrations and uh, you know just capture photographs, photographs and videography uh, to bring it back to you. So that was the primary job while we were up on the station. To execute this mission profile, we were training at various places and uh, it was distributed. So we were at NASA, uh, European Space Agency, and also we traveled to Japan for executing uh, the training for the International Space Station. Uh, at the same time, we also went to SpaceX for training on the Crew Dragon vehicle, which was the vehicle on which we were going to travel to space. For tra training on the experiments uh, that were prepared by researchers, we traveled to various NASA centers. The benefit of executing a human spaceflight mission end to end is more than the training actually. The supplementary knowledge that you get just by being there, the experience of it, the conversations that you have, the interaction that you have with people who have had a history of uh, human spaceflight, it is invaluable. And I think all of this information uh, that I have been able to collect in the past one year is, is going to be extremely useful for us for our own mission, the Gaganyaan and the Bharti Antrik Station. And very soon we shall see somebody traveling up in our capsule from our rocket, from our soil. In spite of all this training, you have done so much training, but after that, when you sit on the rocket and when the engine is ignited, when they catch fire, I think it is a very different feeling. I had not imagined of how it would feel like. And I was actually you know, running behind the rocket for the first few seconds. I took time to catch up to it. From that point of time till the time we splashed down, the experience has been unbelievable. It has been so exciting and so amazing that I really have been struggling to find words of how do I convey to you so that you live that through my words. Probably I'll take some more time 